morning, this is Praxis, and I'm here by myself this morning. Josh called in and uh, told me that he'd been dog sitting and that the dog was just barking all night. He feels very tired today, and he asked if it was all right if he just didn't come in today and come in tomorrow. I said that was fine. It cost me the same to hire him for a day where he's groggy versus a day where he's high energy, and I'll get more work out of him on a day when he is, you know, having high energy. So I was just like, you know, that's cool. Yeah, whatever, recover, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, it does present one problem to me, though, the fact that it's only me here today, uh, and that is that I wanted to do more of these uh, trusses. You got, as you can see, you got three of them up from yesterday, and it's a two-person job getting them up and into place. I can certainly build one by myself, but once I build one, then the area where I do the building is going to be covered in a truss, and that might be hard to do a second one. But in any event, what I'm going to do is build the first one. And I've got a lot of the pieces laid out here right in front of you. I labeled the pieces uh, when I made these stacks in terms of the compass directions. This is south, that's north, that's east, and that's west. So uh, this piece right here uh, that is on the south side of the building, on the east side of the truss, is labeled southeast. The one over here on the north side is northeast. Uh, I did that so it was just kind of easy for me to kind of wrap my head around it later about, you know, which piece goes where and everything. So I put down these two 2 by 8s first, uh, and then I put the collar tie in, and the collar tie is precisely five feet down from the peak, and I've got little marks on, on these boards right here, so I know where it goes, there and there. There are some 2 by 4 spacers that are here, and this one's labeled south, because it's on the south side. That slides in right here. I've got a temporary little spacer right here, it goes in at the end to make sure that this doesn't overextend past here. I got a short south piece that goes in right here, a short north piece that's up at the peak here, and then a long north piece right here. And again, I have the same kind of spacer at the back end that keeps the 2x4 uh, in the middle from sliding down too far because the 2x4 in the middle is supposed to meet this. So if it was too long, it would interfere with that post there. So I can, at the very least, nail all this together. After these guys go together, I'm going to take uh, another uh, set. It's going to be the southwest and northwest 2x8. Uh, Put those on top, sandwich it all this together, and uh, I'll see if I can kind of, kind of move it. If I can just kind of get it up and off and over there somewhere, I guess I can at least maybe make a second one or maybe a third one. Uh, but I don't want to struggle too much. I, I don't want to try to try to force a two-person job with just one person because it's going to just take extra time. If I have some other things that I can do that are just regular one-person jobs and do a one-person job with one person, I'm going to get a lot more efficiency than trying to do a, a two-person with one person. So I'll see. I, I can at least get one of these done. Uh, I've got a few other things to do. I can kind of shore up some some of these um, columns, I have. I still have a wall downstairs that I could board up. That's a one-person thing. So there's other things that I can do. Maybe I, I should focus on those instead of trying to push the envelope on moving this with one person when I can do it a lot more efficiently with two. So we'll see. But first step, in no, no matter what, is hammer this one together. That's it. Thanks for watching.